Of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no portrait, there is no idol, there is no statue, there is no sculpture. Amongst the Hindu scriptures, the most sacred are the Vedas. There are four Vedas, Rig Ved, Yajur Ved, Atharva Ved and Sam Ved. It's mentioned in Yajur Ved, chapter number 32, verse number 3. Na tasir pratima asti. Of that God, there is no pratima. As I mentioned earlier, pratima means an image, a photograph, a painting, a picture, an idol, a statue, a sculpture. Of that God, there is no pratima. Of that God, there is no image, there is no photograph, there is no painting, there is no portrait, there is no idol, there is no statue, there is no sculpture. It's mentioned in Yajurve chapter number 40 verse number 8. Almighty God is pure and imageless. It's mentioned in Yajurve chapter number 40 verse number 9. Andhatma pavishanti ya asamudhi upaste. Andhatma means darkness. Pavishanti means entering. They are entering darkness, those who worship the Asambhuti. Asambhuti means things which are natural. Fire, water, air, etc. They are entering darkness, those who worship the natural things like water, fire, air, etc. And the verse continues, they are entering more in darkness, those who worship the Sambhuti. Sambhuti are the created things like table, chair, idol, etc. Who says that? Yajurved. Chapter number 40, verse number 9. Further, if read the Tharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 58, verse number 3, it says, Dev Maha Asi. Verily, great is Almighty God. 